Shifting focus now to get you the latest update on the Chandrayaan-3 mission. ISRO has now released a statement which says that the spacecraft's health is normal. The spacecraft has entered the moon's sphere of influence, which means it is now in the lunar orbit. It has left the Earth's orbit. Remember, the next stop for uh, Chandrayaan-3 is going to be the moon. The lunar orbit insertion is planned for the 5th of August, which is over this weekend. A statement there coming to the fore from uh, the ISRO going on to say that all is well so far. Remember on the 23rd of August is when uh, the lunar uh, vehicle is going to be attempting to make a soft landing on the south side of the lunar surface. So far it has now left the Earth's orbit. It has entered the lunar orbit and that's the latest that has come to the fore from ISRO releasing a statement on uh, the trajectory of the Chandrayaan-3 mission. All's on track and all's well is really the message that is coming to the fore from ISRO. Harish, my colleague, uh, joining us, getting us more details. Harish, uh, the next step uh, of a successful mission is when we'll find out on the 5th uh, is when uh, the insertion into the lunar orbit will happen? Yes, uh, that would be uh, likely to happen on August 5th when uh, a successful insertion happens uh, into the moon orbit. And after which you will have uh, multiple maneuvers uh, uh, to ensure within the moon orbit uh, the spacecraft reaches a desired level for uh, the ISRO to attempt a soft landing. That would happen somewhere on uh, 23rd, August 23rd. That's the date that's been fixed unless there are few changes in the path of this particular spacecraft. But uh, the latest details coming in suggest that uh, uh, half of this mission that's almost over now and the spacecraft health is normal. And uh, that's what the ISRO has told people. And uh, remember, uh, what this means is that ISRO actually plans to ensure that uh, the lander and the rover, which will be on the surface of the moon, last more than what it's uh, right now designed for. That's something that they had achieved with uh, Chandrayaan-1 and with Chandrayaan-2 as well. They're hoping that even after uh, uh, 14 days, uh, they could come back and uh, the solar panels could work again and they could get more life out of uh, Chandrayaan-3 once a successful soft landing happens, which is the primary focus right now. 23rd uh, of August is when that uh, landing is expected to take place. That's the date uh, we've marked on our calendars as far as Chandrayaan-3's success is concerned. For the moment, Harish, thank you so much for getting us the latest on that. Time for a quick break here on this